Hi guys, welcome to this short video about a few considerations regarding driving a Tesla in snow or in a snowstorm, especially how it will be if you're caught like in a blizzard, you're stuck on a highway, you can't move and you are stuck together with other cars and you have to wait till help comes dig you out maybe 10 hours later 20 hours later whatsoever uh, how can you survive how, how will a tesla uh, do compared to a gas car i mean it's maybe not the perfect time to talk about these things but uh, yeah i think we still have a couple of snowstorms left up to the north and maybe what's more important we heard about that that maybe the US uh, economy will open after uh, COVID-19 and there are still the Trump checks on the way and some people are still working and they get a Trump check on top of that that's a nice bonus to maybe buy a car and usually springtime is time to buy a car and even when snow season is almost over next snow season will come anyway and then you want to be prepared and then you want to know what to expect so is it good to buy an electric car or electric vehicle or is it still better to buy like a gas car so here we are talking specifically about tesla and yeah there was an email uh, like a uh, spread a couple of months ago and people have been saying yeah e electric vehicles are really bad especially teslas are really bad in snow if you're going if you're stuck in snow you have no heating and so on so uh, i've been doing uh, a lot of research about that and i did also my own considerations and this is what i wanted to let you know before you buy your next car so you know what to expect when you are stuck in a snowstorm with an electric vehicle. So we have a couple of positive things and a couple of negative things about electric vehicles or Teslas. The thing is, yeah, Teslas, even when they are so advanced and can almost do everything, they cannot fly, so you are stuck like everybody else in the snow. And so the question is only can you heat? How long will you be able to heat? And that's of course a little bit depending on the model, of course. It is not the same for every electronic vehicle. There are two major differences because some of the vehicles they just have direct heating. So they have the wires and the, the current is flowing from the battery directly into the wires and heating up the inside of the car, which is the worst thing actually which you can have regarding heating efficiency but of course it saves money and weight some uh, more expensive electric cars they have some kind of a heat pump which saves some energy so i think as a rule of thumb we can say uh, with a heat pump you're using one kilowatt uh, to heat up the inside and without people are talking about teslas using two up to three kilowatts so it's not a huge difference but it is a little bit of difference and then we have to know the battery capacity as far as i know like the model 3 which uh, yeah looks like it's becoming the most popular model has a battery between 54 and 75 kilowatt hours and when we think about maybe you are stuck with 50 percent of the battery only left then we can say okay you even without driving you will be able to heat for about eight hours i have heard even tesla drivers saying yeah they expect to be able to maybe heat up for four hours and others are say more optimistic and saying yeah uh, we are doing uh, yeah we can keep up heating up to 35 hours i mean that's maybe possible if you are really 100 percent charged and uh, turn down the heat a lot i mean definitely not to 70 degrees fahrenheit in a really heavy blizzard and so let's compare this a little bit to a gas car gas uh, that's a different thing so we can 
uh, easily calculate yeah, I would say 14 uh, gallon tanks so 7 gallon maybe at 50% left yeah then the thing is actually uh, gas cars do not uh, need gas actually for heating they just need the gas for running like in standby just at the lowest uh, pace uh, with 1000 rounds per minute something like that and it will heat up enough anyway no matter how cold it is outside and so it's consuming about one fifth or about uh, 0.2 gallons per hour so that makes about 35 hours of heating even at 50 percent so this is usually uh, what we can expect with a Tesla at 100% so we can about assume that you have the double time uh, left on an, with an average uh, gas car compared to an uh, average electric car I mean average I would say Tesla Model 3 which is yeah maybe not even an average maybe uh, we can talk about uh, a little bit of above average electric car of course because they sometimes are not cheap especially when you have the 75 kilowatt battery we are talking about pretty high price so there's already this difference and of course the clear winner are still the gas cars but that's not everything there is much more to say and yeah we have to really think about that first thing is uh, gas car you can totally turn off if you think okay uh, yeah it's gonna be close I mean my gas lasts maybe for uh, four hours or so you could heat up maybe for uh, 15 minutes and then stop the car for maybe 45 minutes then let it run for a little bit and so you don't need the gas hold the whole time so you can extend your time a lot and this is not possible uh, with the Tesla at least not on this level because at least the battery needs some heating anyway I mean if you fully stop your Tesla outside in a snowstorm at I don't know zero uh, Fahrenheit or even lower then the battery could suffer a lot so at least you have to uh, keep it running on a minimal uh, level I, I don't know what's really required I think you have to somehow uh, let it run uh, I mean it's not comparable to a normal gas engine but uh, you have to run it uh, at least a little bit somehow maybe use the inside heating so it can also or so it does also heat up the battery if you let the battery cool down too much uh, it will lose extremely power and then the heating time will be even shorter that's a huge difference uh, which you have to think about and then the moment when they are starting to rescue you yeah maybe they need so long that everybody has run out of any power I mean Tesla's have no battery the gas cars don't, do not have any gas and let's assume everybody survived but everybody is actually without power so it's pretty easy to let the truck come with some gas and fill up the tanks uh, of the gas cars so they will be ready immediately and have a huge uh, range I mean we are talking uh, like after one minute uh, 100 miles or so it doesn't take too long to fill up a gas tank but for the electric cars it takes quite some time I have heard that some of the rescue crews they have some kind of electric car charger and sometimes even fast charger but you can imagine they don't do not have so many let's say maybe hundreds or even thousands of electric cars are stuck on the road and they would have to charge all of them in almost the same time it's just not possible it's not going to happen so I don't know what, what will happen maybe you will be uh, still stuck there for hours uh, when the gas cars uh, have already been able to drive home safely so this is what I heard and also some of my own consideration based on the facts I mean based on kilowatt hours based on consumption 
information based on other things which I have read and I mean I'm not an expert I have just basic knowledge this is what I have found after a couple of hours of research I mean I haven't only doing this uh, today for a little bit I collected all this information about uh, during weeks or even months and now I thought yeah it's about time to give you all the information which I have been collecting and I, I, I cannot uh, guarantee that everything is 100% true but I think as a tendency it should be correct so uh, the bottom line definitely is that you still in 2020 should be way better off with a gas car but it's just my thinking what I have found my considerations and I of course could be totally wrong here it would be really interesting to learn from you what you think about that uh, maybe it has already happened to you that you got stuck in an electric vehicle in a snowstorm that would be really really interesting to learn from you uh, what really happened how it turned out please write everything into the feedback area so you could share this with uh, all the viewers I would really appreciate that and yeah just put everything down what what you have I'm really happy to learn uh, new stuff and have a nice discussion about that and I still hope I've been able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about new things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time